What is going on guys? It is Duke and welcome to today's video. That's right. Today we are going to be talking about the monster update that is about to happen. We're really close to it. So let's go over a few of the notes that Rise of Civilizations posted on their Facebook page. It's monstrous. So we're going to go in, check it out. This update is called of Ark of Osiris. It's going to be amazing. Now, of course, the big things that I really want to get into on this are, of course, the Alliance Battlegrounds, which looks pretty awesome. We don't know too much about it yet, but this is going to be awesome. The Ark of Osiris. It's basically an Egyptian-themed event here with the Battlegrounds. It's going to be going live soon. Fight alongside your alliances to defeat challengers from other kingdoms. Now, this is going to be pretty cool. This is amazing. So, the ones that you've been battling in your kingdom for all these weeks, months or so, now you're going to be fighting alongside of them. So after the Alliance Battlegrounds goes live, top 20 alliances in each kingdom, which is a lot. So most of you who are watching this are probably in there, will be able to register. Each battle will have two alliances facing off as supporters of the Egyptian god. So you work together with your allies to outmaneuver and out-strategize the enemy. So it sounds super interesting if you're asking, if you're talking about me. So it looks like it's going to kick off in Kingdoms 1 through 8 on January 23rd, 2019. So, and then as the history of progression goes, I'm guessing that the, the little history uh, storyline that's in your monument is going to be expanded now once the update is released. So here we go. We got the Middle Eastern civilizations here with awesome new commanders. But really what I've been talking about in my videos, which we've been talking back and forth in the comments, these commanders, what kind of commanders are they going to be? So it tells you right here. It's awesome. So it looks like we have six new commanders. Three of them are going to be legendary. Three of them are going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. So we got Constantine, we got Saladin, and we got Mehmed. They're all going to be legendary commanders, and the epics are going to be uh, Belisarius, uh, Khalid, and uh, Osman. So that's going to be awesome. Epic commanders, three of them. Legendary commanders, three of them. I know I've been saving up my keys if you guys have been watching the videos. I'm up over 100 gold keys, and I think I'm up over 70 silver keys. So we're going to do a massive opening, hoping to get some of these commanders here. I'm not sure the availability yet. Let's see. Let's see if it goes in here. So prepare yourself for three amazing new civilizations. It's going to be awesome. And then each civilization will come with its own special commander, a mighty lord, or a valiant warrior from that civilization's history. Embark on a new journey as you experience Middle Eastern architecture and command new special units. So, hey, we're all going to be schooled on some history lessons here. So I'm pretty excited about it. We got new game music. So here we go. Let's go ahead and real look real quick. Constantine, a strong city defender who has turned the tide of many battles. So that's pretty awesome. So we're going to see a garrison commander there. Belisarius, an exceptional cavalry commander who presents an enormous threat to weaker armies. So he's going to be an epic cavalry commander. So that, that's pretty cool. I know a lot of people are using Lancelot. Lancelot might go now by the wayside. And especially if you're going to be filling in for, uh, say, uh, Zao Sao Belisarius might be the one to go to. Uh, now we're going down to Arabia. We got, um, well, we got Saladin. He excels at attacking cities. He's going to be a conqueror. But his strong moral code stops him from pillaging enemy resources, which is pretty interesting. So he is a, um, a, a nice conqueror. So that's pretty interesting. He's got a heart. So uh, I already like the guy myself. So Khalid is a cavalry commander who performs very well in pitched battles. So uh, I don't know if they're singing during these battles with some high-pitched voices or um, their pitches are off. But... That might be where Khalid uh, excels. Now to uh, Mehmed, perhaps the best commander yet for attacking cities and launching rallies. So look for some of your whales in your uh, kingdom to maybe go for him. He might be the guy that people are going to pay to get leveled up right away. So watch out. He looks like he is going to be the one that people are going to have their eyes on the prize with him. And uh, Osman. A rare example of leadership commander who also deals impressive skill damage. So a leadership commander from the epic standpoint, that is pretty cool. And then we got new game music, which is going to be awesome. Improved gameplay, a new city editor. Thank God. I'd love to see some city editors. You guys can send me some of your best layouts. We can post them on the channel here. We can talk about them. We can have all kinds of fun. Time saved from Alliance Help Gathering. Progress will now be displayed, which is cool. And uh, add a feature to save talent tree layouts, which is also pretty cool. So, hey, 
this um, this this update was delayed for a week and we can see why because there's so much going on and it's going to be exciting I know the whole community is just in uh, in an uproar right now because it's going to be awesome I can't wait to see it I'm sure you guys cannot comment down below hey make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you can catch all this update information we can have fun together and I'll talk to you guys later